Good morning, everyone. Today, um, we're good morning. Doing, say I was saying good morning. You say good morning. Uh, today, I'm, I was going to be the first, and I'm going to go over the agenda before we get started with the do now. Um, today, first, we're going to do do now. Then, we're going to go over some vocabulary, and then we're going to go over the preamble to the Constitution. Um, I have a video for you guys, Crash Course. I think this is really cool, guys. I like Crash Course. enjoy that. Next, what we're going to do is go over the three branches of government, and then you're going to have your exit ticket. Um, so, you guys have already done your do now. Let me go over the objectives real quick. Students will be able to define government and describe the basic powers of every government holds. And the standard we're working with today is 12.3. Okay, so, for your do now, what did you come up with? The question was, think about your daily life. List five things the government provides for you. So, what did you come up with? What's the first thing you came up with? Um, the government makes sure that our water is clean. They uh -huh. pave okay. the street. Wait, hold on. Oh, oh, okay. So, you said clean water. Mm -hmm. What's next? They pave the streets, make sure the streets are maintained. And doesn't the government pay for crossing guards and stuff? So like people who provide services, like public service? Yeah. So but who else provides public service besides crossing guards? People who pick up the trash. So yeah, people who pick up the trash, who else? Uh, security guards for the school. Security guards for the school, who else in the school does the government pay? That's my number four, uh, public schools. <laughs> But going back to public service, though. Teachers? Yes, teachers. Teachers. <laughs> Who protects you or is supposed to protect you? I said security. Well, besides security. The Secret Service? The Army? The besides Navy? Them. The, the main Marines. People you see, they drive cars every day. You see them on the street. They have handcuffs, batons, uh, badges. The police? The police. Who puts <laughs> out fires? Uh, firefighters and the ambulance. All those people, public service people. What's the fifth one you came up with? The air isn't that polluted, so like they maintain that. So like, they, wait, say again? Like they make sure the factories don't make too much pollution in the air. Okay, so they make sure that we have a clean environment. Mm hmm. Health code regulations. There you go. Wait, the government pays for Metro? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Pay Metro workers. Um, metro cars. You get reduced lunch. You'll do oh, that. Yeah. Um, public housing. I think everybody here gets free lunch. Yeah, government pays for that. Okay. Sweet. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go over some vocabulary that I want you to write down. Oh, I think you're recording on video. Right <laughs> The system that has been put in place to govern the people of the United States of America. Just the United States of America? Well, Other countries don't have government? They don't have our government. They don't have our government, but we're looking for not the United States version of government. We just want the general definition. The system that has been put in place to lead and control the people of a state or country. Institution. What's an institute? 
I, I know what an institution is, but like, what is an institution? The institution, the The institution has been put in place to lead and control people. To lead and control? Uh, how about, to, let's say, instead of lead and control, let's say, makes and enforces laws. Okay. You feel that we having another earthquake? Sorry. Did you feel that? Are we having another earthquake? Okay, next one. Democracy. What's a democracy? What do you think a democracy is? Isn't democracy like when everybody gets a vote? That's not really true. Well, that's what the definition of democracy is. That's how it's supposed to be. I'm not saying it's exactly like that, but that's the definition of a democracy. But doesn't the Senate make all the rules? Like, But we get to vote on it. We like, get to vote on them, but once they're in, they get to make whatever they want to do. They still have to, like, we might not get, okay. It's basically like we elect someone who we feel would be a good representative. Because we elected them, their decisions are our decisions, and you still have to have, you still have to have people who back their decisions. So it's basically like a majority. So like just because one person says something does not mean it's how it's gonna go. If one person says it and then everyone else backs them up, then that's how it goes. So people like let's say you have three people who are elected, right? Mm -hmm. So that means three different groups of people elected them. So if you have three different groups of people behind them, if you have the person, let's say we elected somebody, and they say they want to enforce a new law or something like that, right? So that means that the people who voted for that person are backing that person. And the other two people, they have groups of people backing them too. So if this person wants to enforce that law, he has to get these other two people to, to back him up. So let's say one of the people agrees and the other person doesn't. That's still majority rules. You have two people versus one. Mm -hmm. and you have to democracy, a form of government What did I say? I said a form of government where the supreme power is with the people. Yep. But other people are for the people. Oh, I did this already. Ain't this, isn't this, like, a bunch of people that share the same opinion, um, like, ideals or religion or something? Like, they, in a certain area, and they share a bunch of things together. I see where you're going. Like, but Maine. In Maryland, can't you have someone who's... Oh, 
Pardon the interruption. Would the following 10th grade students please report to room 297? Hassan Battle, Julian Carter, Amari Brooks, Donye Daniels, Shanita Bynum, Shayla Grant, Stephen Lewis, Ananda McMillan, be funny Robert if Miller III, graders. Dar Sheikha Robinson, Tavon Streeter, Sierra Harrison, Shakayla Parks, Raphael Robinson, and Shadria Williams. Please report to room 297 on the second floor. Thank you. With a lot of names. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so what you said again, you said it's a group of people who have the same ideas and... I mean, not necessarily, but like they all share a general consensus, like that they want to be governed. Yeah. Keep going. I don't know what else to say. Okay. <laughs> so my definition is a body of people living in a defined territory with the power to make and enforce laws without permission from a higher power. So basically, a group of people who live together and make their own things. So. So why are why are the United States then? Because mm -hmm. the states still have to abide by the but, union. I mean, state, there's state law and then there's federal law. We're going to get to that, man. We're going to get to that. But that's a higher power, isn't it? Like the oh, federal yeah. law. Yeah. You're jumping ahead. Run it. Walk a little bit. Go ahead. We're going to get to that. That's, that's the last thing to say. And then, then I want to jump forward. So a body of people but I'm glad you are thinking How long is this supposed to be again? Uh, you start when you finish the vocab test. Mm -hmm. The last one, public policy. What do you think public policy is? Policy that has been put forth for the public? I don't know. <laughs> well, yes, but, okay. It's things that the government decides to do um, ranging from education to healthcare to transportation. So basically everything that benefits or everything that affects, not I was gonna say benefits, but everything that affects the public. Uh -huh. So the things that a government I'm going to leave this up for you to write it down. After this, we're going to, we're about to go over the preamble, and I have a video for you on the Constitution of Crash Course, which I think you'll like. I think you'll enjoy. I must warn you, though, he talks a little fast, so if you need me to pause it or go back and repeat a, a section, let me know. <laughs> 